Hey guys, so welcome to day five of your notes. So we are going to learn about multi-step conversions today. Okay, so remember how to use your mole roadmap. Okay, you must always go through the mole. Okay, because no matter which way you're going, if you're going to mass to mole, you will always have to use mole in your calculations. Okay, so all these all this week you guys have been learning about converting from particles to moles moles to liters or mass to moles okay so we talked about how if we're converting from particles to mole then our conversion factor is always going to be one mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles okay if we're converting from liters to mole, then our conversion factor is going to be one mole equals 22.4 liters. And then if we're converting from mass to mole, then our conversion factor is going to be one mole equals molar mass. Okay, and don't forget what molar mass means. Molar mass means what is the mass of your compound that's in your problem. Okay, so you always have to look at your periodic table to determine what the molar mass is okay so like I said earlier this week you guys have been just converting just single conversion factors so from mass to mole or liters to mole or particles to mole so today we're going to learn about how to combine so Let's say we were given liters, but your question is asking for particles. So that means we're going to have to go from liters and use this conversion factor, then to moles, then use this conversion um, factor to get to particles. So that means we're going to through two conversion factors to figure out how many liters it is to particles. Okay, so if that doesn't make sense, let's just go ahead and do a few example problems then. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit so that way um, our mole map is always um, shown. Okay, so number one, question is how many grams are in 45 liters of neon gas at standard temperature and pressure? So what you want to do first is identify what's been given so that's going to be 45 liters of neon so look at your mole map where is 45 liters on your map is it particles mass or is it liters or volume so liters obviously is going to be this one right here so we are here and your question is asking for what our question is asking for grams, so that means we have to go through this conversion factor here, then go to this conversion factor here to get to mass. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our formula for that. Okay, so if we are given 45 liters of neon, Okay, and we're going to go through one conversion factor first, which is one mole equals 22.4 liters. So that means that's our first conversion factor. Well, how do you know which one goes on top, which one goes on bottom? Does mole go on top or does liters go on top? Well, remember, your given should be the same unit as this one down here. So if this is liters, then that means our value at the bottom of our factor should be 22.4 liters of neon. Because remember, in the end, we're going to cancel these out. Okay, so on top, that means it's going to be our one mole. So one mole of neon. Okay, and then for our second conversion factor, so we've already used this one, now we're going to use this conversion factor. So one mole equals molar mass. So remember that diagonal rule? 
okay, if this is one mole of neon, then diagonal of that should also be one mole of neon, okay? They should be the same unit, so they cancel out. And then whatever we're trying to find should go on top, which is grams, right? So molar mass goes on top. So what is the molar mass of neon? So if you look at your periodic table, let's see if I have a periodic table here. Okay, so I do. Let's see if we can pull that up for you guys. So neon is right here. So neon has the atomic mass or the molar mass of 20.180. So 20.180. Okay, so grams of neon. So when we start to do our math, don't forget to cancel out your units. So liters of neon is going to cancel out liters of neon. And then the entire one mole of neon is going to cancel out with the entire one mole of neon. Because one mole divided by one mole, well, it's one. So you can just cancel the whole thing out. So when you solve, okay, remember, numbers on top are always multiplied. Numbers on the bottom are always divided. Okay, so it's going to be 45 divided by 22.4 times 20.180. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on our calculator, and let's go ahead and calculate. Okay, so 45 times 22.4 equals, okay, 1,008. Oh, I'm sorry, I did that wrong. It's 45 divided by 22.4. Okay, and then we're going to multiply that by 20.180. Okay, so our final answer is 40.5402. But of course, that's not our final answer because we always want it to be in significant figures. So our problem gives us four at 45, so that's two significant figures. This is my first, this is my second significant figure, so what does that 5 do to that 0? It rounds it up. So our final answer is 41, and then what's our unit? Grams of neon. Okay, so we'll go ahead and box that, and that's our final answer. Okay, so moving on to the next question, number 2. How many formula units are in 36.4 grams of sodium chloride? So our given is 36.4 grams of sodium chloride. So let's take a look at where is that on our map. Okay, so we are given grams of sodium chloride. Excuse me. So sodium chloride grams is right here. And we've, we were asked to look for formula units, which is right here. So that means our first conversion factor is going to be 1 mole equals molar mass. And then our second conversion factor is 1 mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, so again, our first conversion factor is going to be 1 mole equals molar mass. Okay, so if this is grams, then that means our number on the bottom must also be grams. So how many grams of sodium chloride do we have? Well, that means we're going to have to do some calculations. So sodium, I'm going to pull up my periodic table again. Okay, so sodium, where's sodium on our periodic table? right here. So we have 22.990. Okay, and then chlorine. Chlorine is 35.453. Okay, so let's go ahead and 
add that up so we can figure out our molar mass. So 22, uh-oh. Did my calculator just die on me? And it did. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's try this again. Okay. So we have 22.990 plus 35.453. And we get 58.443 as our molar mass. So 58.443 grams of NaCl. And of course, if this is molar mass, then what's on top is going to be our one mole of NaCl. Okay, so that's our first conversion factor. So what's going to be our second if we're trying to get to particles? Our second conversion factor is going to be 1 mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, so, okay, if this is 1 mole of sodium chloride, then remember diagonal of it should also have the same unit. So 1 mole of NaCl. So on top is going to be our 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula units of NaCl. It's so long. Okay. All right. So remember to cancel out your units. Grams of sodium chloride are going to cancel out with grams of sodium chloride. Our one mole is going to cancel out with our one mole of sodium chloride. So that means we're going to um, divide 36.4 divided by 58.443 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up our calculator. So we have... 36.4 divided by 58.443, okay, and I'm going to push enter, okay, and then we need to multiply that by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, and remember, I feel more comfortable um, putting my scientific notation in parentheses. Okay, so times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, and then push enter. So our final answer is going to be 3.749, and I'm not going to write that whole thing. And then don't forget what E stands for. E stands for times 10. So times 10 to the 23rd power. Okay, and then don't forget about significant figures. So our given is three significant figures, so our answer should also be three significant figures, which is going to be 3.75 times 10 to the 23rd formula units of NaCl. Okay, all right, so... All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next um, next problem. Okay, hopefully we have enough room. All right, so number three, what is the mass of 550 liters of helium gas at STP? So our given is going to be 550 liters of helium and then we're going to look up top to figure out what our first conversion factor is going to be so remember that we start at liters so volume and it's asking for mass okay so on our mole map we're going from liters to grams so that means our first conversion factor is going to be one mole equals 22.4 and then our second conversion factor is going to be one mole equals molar mass. All right, so 
okay if this is liters then this also needs to be liters down here so they can cancel out so 22.4 liters of helium and our one mole is going to go on top okay so our next conversion factor is going to be molar mass right so if this is one um, if this is moles then this needs to be moles also so one mole of helium and then our molar mass is going to go on top so what is the molar mass of helium gas so if you look on your periodic table helium is 4.003 grams per one mole okay so when we do the math our liters are going to cancel out and our moles are also going to cancel out so we're left with 550 divided by 22.4 and then multiply that by 4.003 okay so let's go ahead and do that math okay so we have 550 divided by 22.4 and then we're going to multiply that by 4.003 and our answer is I'm going to write that down here our answer is 98.287 okay so how many significant figures does our answer need if we're looking at 550 then we only have two significant figures not three if there was a decimal after that zero then we would have three significant figures but since there's no decimal then we only have two significant figures so our final answer is going to be 98 grams of helium okay And now for our last problem okay so it's asking for how many liters are in 5.6 times 10 to the 24th atoms of helium gas at standard temperature and pressure okay so what we've been given is atoms of helium so that means we are going to start from particles and it's asking for liters Okay, so that means we're going to pass, or this is going to be our first conversion factor right here. One mole equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. And then our second conversion factor is going to be one mole equals 22.4 liters. Okay, so again, always write down what was your given first. So 5.6 times 10 to the 24th atoms of helium and our first conversion factor is going to be the 6.02 so if this is atoms then diagonal of it it needs to be atoms as well so 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of helium so our one mole of helium is going to go on top then we're going to multiply that with our next conversion factor, which is going to be one, um, one mole equals 22.4 liters. So again, if this is moles, then diagonal of it needs to be moles also. So one mole of helium. And then whatever we're looking for needs to be on top, which is 22.4 liters of helium, right? Since we're looking for liters, our last um, conversion factor should be liters on top okay so atoms are going to cancel out with atoms and our one mole is going to cancel out with one mole so when we put this into our calculator okay some of you guys had issues with this okay so let's go ahead and um, try to work this on our calculator Okay, so our first number is going to be 5.6 times 10 to the 24th because that's in scientific notation. I'm going to put that in parentheses. So 5.6 times 10 to the 24th 
times 10 to the 24th power, okay? And I'm dividing that by another scientific notation. So again, that's going to go in parentheses too. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, and I'm going to push enter. That's the answer we get. And then we're going to multiply that by 22.4. So that equals um, 208.372. But of course, significant figures, our problem only gives us two significant figures. So that means this is our first, this is our second. So that eight is going to round that um, zero up to a one. So I'm going to have two, one, zero. Okay, so that still gives me the correct value, right? Because I have 200. So the closest that can um, that I can round that to is going to be 210, which still gives me two significant figures. So 210 liters of helium. Okay, so that concludes our notes for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.